welcome back to my channel. I love musicals, it's a big part of my life. Um, and today I thought I would react to the prom. Now I have tried to stay away from the prom a lot. <laughs> Like, I've tried not to listen to any of the songs, and I actually only know one of the songs, which is You Happened, which I'm not really sure why that is in the show, but I know it's about people asking them to the prom. I don't really know a lot about this show, like, at all. Like, I know that it's about two girls who want to go to prom together, and the school, like, won't let them, but that's kind of as far as it goes. I don't even know what to say. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first song is called Changing Lives. So let's listen to that. Okay, the little da 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 da. I feel like I've heard that. Okay. Interesting way to open it with a newsreader. Okay. I really like the instrumental, like, really like it. Very jazz, very Broadway. Also, the voices, God, they're so good. I can't tell if they're talking about the show, like this actual show, like the prom, or they're like talking about a different show. That's just in the, like a show within a show, if you get what I mean. Gotta end it with a harmony. Got to, it's great. <laughs> Does anyone know how to pronounce her last name? Kinuin? Kin Kin Kinin? I don't know. <laughs> this is a really nice song. I feel like the character she's made is very relatable. Like, the way she sings it makes me feel like I know her. Or know someone like her. Okay, already Beth Level is slaying. Is she the villain? I don't think she's the villain. So are all like the teachers looking in on the students as like their guides or like their inner conscience or something like that? Because that's what it kind of seems like. This end. Yeah, this end is amazing. I get very Adam's family vibes. If anyone understands that. It's a cautionary tale. Does it have fear and lust and pride? I mean, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> We've not heard her sing yet. Ooh, that's nice. I really like her voice. Do you find it ironic that two shows on Broadway have the words cautionary tale in them? Please be aware that the next thing you are going to see is going to be very, very cheesy. You have been warned. I don't know who's singing the beginning bit, but it's very nice. <laughs> That's funny. Also, Cher and the Cher show is on Broadway. This sounds like a very dance type number. I feel like you could say that for a lot of the songs though. Also, a Wicked reference. Is Wicked on Broadway? I think it is. Because Jessica Vosk was in it. Is this her dad? Oh, yes, get it. Lower harmonies. Okay. Just kind of picked up the pace a little bit. It's just turned very techno, kind of. Like disco vibes. So I'm assuming they're at the prom. <laughs> this is pure Chicago. Pure Chicago. It's even called Zazz. It's just like jazz, but not. After filming this video, I googled the synopsis of the show and it makes a lot more sense now. It sounds a bit like she's talking about a drug. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Am I the only one who keeps seeing Christopher Sieber as Lord Farquhar? A little bit dark. This reminds me of a song and I can't think of what it is. 
the band for this show is so good. I think that's always one of my favourite things about musicals, like the band and the music, like the instrumentals. Still can't think of what this song is that it reminds me of. I think the song I was thinking of was My Dead Gay Son from Heathers, but I don't even know now, so... Oh well. Is that a reference? Raise your voice. Sister act. Who's Alyssa Green? Is this like a bully or someone? Or am I just completely missing that? Or is that her? It might be her. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Like, controlling mother, controlling her life. Oh my god, that's so sad about her dad. I think this is just getting more and more sad. This is so sad. I just googled it. She is Alyssa Green, which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's kind of ironic that she says to learn to see, and I'm pretty sure she wears glasses. I don't know if it's in the show. I get very Mean Girls, Fearless vibes, but like the more mellowed version. Who's this? This guy I've never heard on the soundtrack so far. At least I don't think so. They might sound a bit different, but I can't tell. He has a nice voice though. This show loves their harmonies, which makes me love this show. <laughs> I thought they said fearless then. <laughs> These harmonies, man. They're great. I can just see it on stage. Just like everyone, just like powerful hearts. <laughs> And we're now on to the final song called It's Time to Dance. Okay, back to the dance with you. You can already hear this building up into like a proper finale song. So has prom not started yet? Or has it? I'm really confused. Okay, so the prom's not happened yet. Bum, bum, ba -dum. This is a very upbeat dance number. That was a long instrumental. Good instrumental, but long. I see stars and this end are very similar. It's not a bad thing though. Well, that was cute. Cute show. Okay, so overall thoughts. I really liked it. It was something different. I definitely thought that even though every song was unique in its own way, that it still flowed as a musical. I did hear other songs in some of the songs, but I'm not saying that they're copying it or that's a bad thing. Like I'm not saying that at all. That's just sort of what I heard from those songs. I really liked Isabel McCalla's voice. I think that's how you say it. Isabel, Isabel McCalla. I really liked her voice. I don't know why, I just think that her voice sounded familiar in a way. Caitlin Kin Kin Kinnunen Kinnunen. I'm gonna Google how to say it because I don't actually know. Caitlin Kinnunen. I'll put in them. Hey, I'm Caitlin Kinnunen. I play Emma. Kinnunen. She said it. It's Kinnunen. That's how you pronounce it. That would make a lot of sense because that's how it's spelled. The adults definitely strong. From the soundtrack it's kind of hard to tell what their role is in the show. It seems like they're just like teachers or parents of like the main characters however they play like an outer role but I'm not really sure what that is just from listening to the soundtrack. I'm sure if I saw the show it would make a lot more sense but from just the soundtrack that's sort of what I saw or heard. Beth Level, Level, I'm pretty sure it's Level, I think I've heard people say Level, um, amazing, like, her voice is great, like, she brings a sort of essence to the show. She seems very unique and a very strong character, and I can definitely see why her and Caitlin Kinnanen got nominated for in the lead actress in a musical category but yeah my overall thoughts was it was really good I really enjoyed it 
and I'll probably be listening to more of the songs in the future. I think my favourite song is still You Happened. I think it's very jazzy, it's very upbeat, it's very up my street and that rhymed and didn't mean to. And that does it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like the video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.